Welcome, everybody. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're enjoying your day. Today's going to be a great day. It's, I thought the other day, I think I mentioned the other day that it was my favorite day of Fast and Wrong Thinking. But I think today might be my favorite day of Fast and Wrong Thinking. And I can't wait to talk about this day. Now, I just want to welcome everybody. I want to hear from you, where you're watching from. I'm so glad that, that we're able to connect. This last 35 days, you know, we're in day 36 of our 2021 20, Fast and Wrong Thinking. And like I shared yesterday, I think I talked about how you know, when water boils, it boils at 212 degrees, but it, it turns into steam, that is, at 212 degrees. It doesn't turn into steam at 211. So it can go from zero to 211, and still it doesn't turn into steam. But at exactly 212 degrees, boom, it turns into steam. The difference between 211 and 212 is just one degree, but the impact of that one degree makes all the difference in the world. And I want you to see that day 36 is like maybe nothing happened. It looks like or feels like nothing happened from day one to day 35 so far. But today is the day maybe that it's going to turn into steam. Today is the day where darkness is going to turn to light, where sickness is going to turn to healing, where fear is going to turn to faith, where Brokenness is going to turn to restoration. Today's the day. Why can't today be that 212 degrees temperature? Well, I know I mentioned that yesterday. I'm going to mention it every day probably for the next few days because I really want you to see that what happens from what happens underneath the surface is not always noticed until the plant emerges. What's happening in the cocoon is not really noticed until the butterfly emerges and breaks out of the cocoon. But there's so much happening underneath. There's so much happening in the cocoon. There's so many great things happening in your life right now that no matter what it looks like, you need to believe in the process. Believe in this process. Fasting from wrong thinking is a gift from heaven. There's no way I could have thought of it. God gave it to us. And so I'm so grateful that we have the opportunity to do this. But this is how it works. This is a process day after day after day. Consistency of a few moments every day of aligning our thoughts with God's thoughts, breaking the mentalities of failure, breaking the mentalities of, of defeat, breaking the mentalities that, that limit us. What it, it, this consistency is what will turn something that seems so simple and seems so, so like it's not doing anything into a miracle. Believe me, this is the process. Believe in the process. All right, so we're on day 36. And today we are fasting from a negative attitude. Now, really, every day we're fasting from a negative attitude, but I'm specifically focusing on this today because this world is so negative that I want you to understand the gospel is actually means good news. The word gospel means good news. And when those angels came to tell Mary and the shepherds and the wise men and all the, all the magi and all the people that came through in Jesus' birth, they all talked about the good news. And Jesus talked about, he came to preach the good news, the gospel of the kingdom, the good news of God's kingdom, the gospel of grace, the good news of God's grace, the gospel of love, the good news of God's love. It's good news. There's nothing bad about it. Our heavenly father, I want you to get this positive thinking going, this faith-filled, optimistic thinking, because there's nothing earthly about our Heavenly Father. Everything about him is heavenly. Everything about him is, a, is worthy of adoration. There's nothing earthly about our Heavenly Father, and there's nothing bad about our good God, and there's nothing bad about the good news there's, I know that it sounds too good to be true, but it is. It is true. It's, it's too good for what we deserve, but it's true. It's beyond what we can comprehend, but it's true. And a positive attitude in life is such a difference maker. It's such a life changer. 
it's such a smile is so much more powerful than a frown. A smile is so much more powerful than you realize. A word of encouragement is so much more dramatic and so much more impactful than you probably even think right now. But attitude is everything. And I want you to understand what attitude means. It's a mindset that takes precedence over all other facts. An attitude, you know when, some, when you know, oh, that person's got an attitude, wow. You don't even describe it as bad, you just know it's, it's bad just the way you say it. Oh, you got an attitude about this? Like that, that, I want you to understand what an attitude is. It's a mindset that takes precedence over all other facts. So if I have an attitude of faith, then it's, it's a mindset of trusting God, a mindset of being confident that God's promises are true, no matter what the facts look like right now, no matter what the situation looks like right now, uh, an attitude is a mentality or a mindset that takes precedence over all other facts, and we need an optimistic one rather than a negative one. God has given us an optimistic one. We simply have to harness our negativity and turn it into something positive, turn it into positive energy. So today we're obliterating negativity from our lives as we will tomorrow and every day for the rest of our lives, we're gonna obliterate a negative attitude. You know what, you can control, you, you can control whether life is gonna be easier or harder for you based on your attitude. Think about that. So many people look at things in a negative way. They expect negative things to happen. They speak to themselves in negative, negative language. And as a result, they never grow. So that's why we got to obliterate this mindset of negativity. Now, how do we do that? We need to realize and believe about God. God is a yes God. He's not a no God. He's a yes God. That doesn't mean that he's like a genie in a bottle. But 2 Corinthians 1.20 says... All of the promises of God are yes. Woo! He says yes to everything he promised. He never says maybe or I'll think about it. If he promised it, which there's 7,000 promises in the Bible, if he promised it, the answer is yes. It's never no. It's never maybe. It's never if you straighten out your, your life, you fix everything. It's yes and God, because God is a positive God, he wants us to be positive kids of his because we're made in his image, right? So, and then one of the points that I make in day 36, you read it in the email perhaps already, but uh, the point number two is can it, can it? In other words, success comes in cans, not in cannots, okay? Success, and that may sound, uh, what's the word, um, corny? Right. But it's true. Success comes in cans, not cannots. Philippians 413 says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. You see, the promises of God are, are written in a positive way. I can do all things. God has given me power, love and a sound mind. Think about that. Think about all the promises of God are yes. Think about when Jesus never turned somebody down when they came to him for prayer. He never said, you know what? Not for you. You over there? Yeah, fine. But you, nah. He never said no to anybody who asked for healing. He never said no to anybody who asked for anything in the Bible. Anything we, anytime we see somebody asking God for something, the answer was never no. Why? Because God is a positive, yes, God. And we have to get rid of the negative psychic in us, every one of us thinks we're a psychic, but it's usually negative. Uh, what do I mean by that? The negative psychic is the part of you that presumes you know what people are thinking about you, and it's usually bad. You know, oh, I know what he's thinking about me. Oh, I know what she's thinking about me. I bet she's thinking this. I bet he's thinking that. And it's usually negative. Stop being a psychic. <laughs> Stop trying to read people's minds, because it's almost always negative when you're reading between the lines, reading people's minds, trying to read, read people's minds. She thinks I'm an idiot. Uh, uh, I can tell he's judging me. Or Look, the only person's thoughts that matter about you are God's thoughts towards you. That's the only 
Those are the only thoughts that matter. And your thoughts towards yourself, which need to be in agreement with God's thoughts. And um, one of the things that I talk about here in fasting from wrong thinking from a negative attitude is we need to see ourselves as a thermostat rather than a thermometer. Now, a thermostat sets the temperature, boom, and then everything rises to the whatever temperature that you've set it at. Or in the, when it's really hot, you set it low and everything, all the temperature lowers to whatever you set it at. So we need to set our temperature, set the thermostat rather than just reading the temperature. So, so many people are good at reading a thermostat, but we need to realize we have power to set the thermostat. And we're gonna set it on, what are we gonna set it on? We're gonna set it on above only. Deuteron Deuteronomy 28, 13 says, we are above only and not beneath. We're the head and not the tail. Above only. Boy, I love how he says that. Above only and not beneath. The NIV says, you will always be at the top. Boy, just take this attitude today with you. Take this attitude. Adopt this attitude. Adopt it like a kid. Adopt it like you needed a child so bad that you went to China and adopted a child. Adopt this mentality. You take care of that child that you adopted, that you did anything for, you'll take care of that child for the rest of your life. You need to take this attitude, adopt this attitude and keep it with you and hold it the rest of your life. Now think this and say this, my life is not getting worse, my life is getting better. I look for the good, I choose the good. Come on, say that. I look for the good, I choose the good, I expect the good. And I will no longer be a negative person. I'm a positive person. I'm a faith person. I'm a yes, not a no believer. Yes to all the promises of God. I'm the head and not the tail. Say that. I'm above only. I'm above only. Hey, whew, well, we took a little extra time today. I hope it encourages you. Make sure to read through the entire Fast From Wrong Thinking um, page today or Fast From Wrong Thinking email today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. It's going to be a great day. Why? Because you got the right attitude now. 